This is an example running on a Raspberry Pi with a Raspberry Pi touchscreen. And what it does is it uses PTP cam on the back end and there's a Flutter wrapper that's running on a Raspberry Pi so that you can start streaming the Rico Theta over the USB cable or set it to image mode and other configurations. It's just a few tips to get you started. So if you're using it on Linux, you're going to find this libptp picture transfer protocol library. You can just grab it from SourceForge, right? So just search on it. So if you're building for um, Ubuntu 20.04, 18.04, or Jetson Nano, uh, a newer Jetpack, it'll probably build with no problem. I've extensively documented here on this uh, free documentation. Just to give you a taste of what uh, you need to do to get this thing running on Linux. So you're going to need to get libptp from source. You can just grab it here from SourceForge. No, it's a bit old, right? So 20, last modified 2016, it, it still works. Um, we've tested it pretty extensively on Ubuntu 20.04, 18.04, uh, Jetpack 4.4, and it'll basically compile from source with no problem if you install this libusb-dev. So right here, uh, if you just install it with apt and you're running a Ubuntu-like version of Linux, this thing will, you'll be good to go and you'll be able to just make it, run it, install it, and use it. If you're running on Raspberry Pi, which is pretty common, we're kind of stuck at this for a while, but eventually we found out that there's this USB compatibility compatibility layer for the an older version of libusb remember i pointed out that this libptp hasn't been updated in several years uh, it still works so in the libusb you need to grab this compatibility layer and once you start installing this it will work on a uh, raspberry pi Right here, the newest one. It's quite old, but it does work. I believe on the newer versions of Linux, like Ubuntu 8, 1804, 2004, I think the user local lib is actually in the library path. So you probably don't need to do this. However, um, if it's not building, another possible gotcha is you, you might need to add this into your library path. So here, here's an example on Ubuntu x86. It's just one line. So uh, although you might be intimidated by the shared libraries, um, if you just follow the steps, it, it doesn't take very long. After that, you can run PTP cam and then grab all the uh, information. I'll create another video to walk you through this, but to increase the stability of the libptp over a high speed usb the usb connectors are much faster nowadays so you may want to increase the, the packet length here it's only one line again that you would need to modify of the libptp source code although i personally haven't tested the libptp on the mac people in the community appear to be using a gphoto 2 more commonly. So libptp may work on the Mac. We just uh, don't have any um, public examples of it. But there are examples of using lib gphoto 2 and the gphoto 2 command line on the Mac. On Windows, this is a fairly common project, wpdmtp. You don't actually need this because you can just access the WPD API, which is from Microsoft directly. However, it's fairly common to use this. If you are using Windows, make sure that you don't use the Rico SDK and that you're actually just grabbing the API reference from here.
just a heads up that if you hit um, api.rico, there's a ton of information right at the top here. And there's this thing, Rico Camera SDK, learn more, and then you can grab the SDK. This SDK does not work with the Rico Theta. This is for the DSLR cameras. There's no SDK uh, for the Rico Theta, unfortunately. So you're going to have to write your own code to access the USB API. Thanks for joining us. If there's interest in this type of video, give it a like, and we'll use that feedback to produce more videos like this about the Rico Theta USB API, including more detailed instructions on how to do the implementation yourself. This was an overview and intended to be the first part of a series on the Rico Theta USB API. Subscribe to the channel, and if we do update the videos, you'll get a, a notification that another tutorial has been released.